about this every day, our skin look cleaner. Yeah. We never yet observe on our cleaner. Sit down. Take my advice, honey, sweetie. Talk to Shorty and consult with Shorty and see if you can get any wise words. It's almost as if they're advertising or monetizing domestic violence. Cartel, you listen to me. You find one of them Panamanian girl eh? and you find a Jamaican girl and you did a St. Vincent with you. Find a St. Vincent girl too. And you carry the whole of them a turkey. And you go over there and tell a judge that you want to marry all of them. And the judge will ask you for your bank book or your bank statement or whatever. And you show the judge. And the judge grant you the permission to marry all of them. Don't marry to no one woman. Subscribe or what I go on. Big up on yourself, my beautiful people. Oh, nah, deal with. Hope everybody good, you know. Hope everybody okay. Watch what I go on and all people. With us, we are Vibes Cartel is flocked by fans and is returned to Jamaica from Panama without no itching. So, we are going out quickly, my people. Also, with us, we are reactions from the street as it relates to see them us Turk telling people to. You know, it's them mother and them thing there where don't rate her. You see it we man, we see reactions from evil like 119 aka Mr. Kitty. You know, say that I go be interesting. So stay tuned for that, my people. Also, with us, we are a veteran artist set up a GoFundMe to get assistance after he is found facing major health issues my people stay tuned for that as well very interesting also with us where miss kitty is questioning young men and women who is seemingly monetizing domestic abuse online especially on tiktok my people as you know what i say we are going to look into that also with us where another artist is saying that you know hackers hack our email and seemingly delete our youtube channel my people so you don't know how oh, the thing goes, it's a tough settings there. So also we see where Digicel, you know, is saying that them are removed the 2G network, you see it. So you don't know how that go. What if are interesting things, my people? Do the right thing, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. Let's get into it quick and fast. People, that's where Vibes Cartel is back in Jamaica after a quick Panama run, you see what I say, and just as how oh, the St. Vincent run was controversial, you don't know, I saw the Panama run controversial as well. Me hear cartel I say all time own mode is um life is a living drama. You don't know when it comes down to the whole Saint Vincent thing, you know, him make some endorsement as it relates to Saint Vincent, say yo, are the place we be as the tourism destination, you know, which is no lie because when it comes to Saint Vincent it's a really beautiful island. But you don't know that they really sit well with a lot of Jamaicans. That's what I say, yeah man, cause you don't know we as Jamaicans are we patriotic you know we want to be number one and everything supposed to be number one and all of the praises you know supposed to go to we as it however you know vibes cartel and uh, saint vincent as well and as we say a little buzz and so forth plus some other things you see it yeah man people are speak and the prime minister being corrupted because him was cartel and a bag of things my people and as we say the panama run was no less controversial because with us we are vibes cartel get even closer with the girls them you see what i say yeah man girls of all kind and so forth and you don't know that cause a problem with see them you see it who is his current girlfriend at this moment you see it yeah man see them with a uh, run with a couple of them i say yo them are groupy and so forth and you know, she you know appreciate them are going like them more of a style thing and get too close to the boss. However, the streets are say yo, she have to understand she has a star life go and that is what she signed up for my people. You see it where she's where you have even some reactions where the ones them are say boy she are gonna get a whole heap of bun and them thing. Now that's where this young lady have a reaction, my people, and she is saying that based on where she see see them in line to get bun after bun after but before we get to what the young lady is saying people quickly take a look into the airport as to what is going on and then let's move to what the young lady is saying people <laughs>
people. So that is Vibes Cartel, you know. And if you know Vibes Cartel, I you know so Vibes Cartel live for them type of thing. You see what I say? A film type of thing this for you out and about and you know, I get all of the buzz, all of the controversy and so forth. We see people sit down and wait patiently and I say, yo, you know, him soon fall off, him soon get the people and soon get tired of him and so forth. But I don't really know when that my people, but we are watch what I go and still we see how all this thing I go play out. But anyways, this is what the young lady had to say as it relates to see them and uh, vibes cartel my people. Check this out. Guys. I had to come back here for you know the little sus. First of all, message to see them. No, girl. Stop it. Let me take off the soap me off my finger. Stop it, girl. Stop it. What you doing? What you doing? Girlfriend on the internet on Cartel Live telling people to go suck their mother. She says she don't care. She drinking something and she said, I don't care. Tell all of them who are trying to come between me and you to go suck your mother, suck all your mothers. Cartel said to her, do you know how to say suck your mother? And she said it. She's very bitter, guys. The Gaza nation must be very, very, very provocative right now because Apparently, they're provoking. See them. The princess. Pri princess, see them. See them. Take my advice, honey. Sweetie. Talk to Shorty and consult with Shorty and see if you can get any wise words on how to handle cartel. Because let me tell you something, darling. You cannot tame that beast. Did you think you could tame that beast? No, you cannot. The man is who he is. I don't think he believes in monogamy. Ask Shorty. You know what the difference is between you and Shorty? Well, actually, there are a lot of differences. Shorty is a bad girl. Very tough. Very strong. See them, you look very jealous and very bitter. The man has a lot of fans all over the world. You're not the only pretty girl that exists. As you can see when you went to, since you've been in Panama, there are so many, 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 many more beautiful women with the bombastic booties and the bombastic boobies and the bombastic bodies. Beautiful faces, flowing hair, of all different shades. See them. You are go get bun. Bun pantapa bun. Bun bun. Bun baka bun. You are go get bun. See them. Easter is far away, but you're going to be getting all of the buns. For all of the years to come. And the years that have passed. Take it from me, see them. Buckle up, sweetie. Buckle up. Buckle up, cowgirl. Buckle up, dark horse. Because you're in for the ride of your life. And remember, see them. How you got him is how you will lose him. Remember good. And stop tell people about suck their mother. You don't know anything about what that means. Take your time and learn the culture. You hear? I'm out. People, so I don't really know what I'm going as it relates to Vibes Cartel and see them. I you know, just enjoy the entertainment. You know what I say? Yeah, man. So I don't know if I stunt them up. I don't know if she's jealous with you or whatever. You see what I say? And if she's jealous with you, well, it would have. Uh, why it would have kind of technical because she would have to know what she has signed up for from the get go. You see, when I say she should have known, say, Vibes Cartel lifestyle is not really a normal lifestyle from when him did their road. So, the fact that, you know, probably she has said, well, she was, you know, with him during him jail time and so forth, which is good. 
and understandable and support. She often know say once him come around and start feel a bit better, you know, it not, there is a 99% chance of him trying to roll back that way. They're not saying that him a go, you know, like a fe sleep with them girls and so forth, but you don't know more than likely. Just for the hype and the artist lifestyle, the girls them a go surround the artist enough. So, I saw me if you would still my people, I don't know what to think, but tell me what to think because you would have reactions from 119 as well. And you don't know 119, all of you there are where follow up the channel, you must see multiple features of 119. And you don't know 119 line of argument is in full agreement with Vibes Cartel having multiple partners. So check this out. Girl name Sidem, the girl from Turkey. Who vibes cartel say is going to marry? I don't understand how she come from Turkey and act jealous over vibes cartel. Because cartel go up Panama and some girl him there with some girl. I mean, I know if vibes cartel go do a thing, probably go mash a lick works. And see them look like she get jealous. But if see them come from Turkey. How can you be jealous when in Turkey enough man have multiple wives? It is allowed in Turkey for men to marry more than one wife as long as he can prove to a judge that he's financially able to take care of all his wives. And in fact, it is not really lawful in Turkey. It on the law books. It is on the law books that the man must have one wife. But man still go ahead and are married multiple wives and nobody not get lock up feet. The government now appeared at no mind. And prior to 1926, 1926, it was perfectly legal in Turkey for a man have multiple wives. And right around, right around the region where Turkey is, Turkey's neighbors are Syria, Iran, Iraq, the whole of them country there. Man married to more than one woman, all them have to do approve, say them financially stable. So I cannot understand it. I really can't see how this Turkish girl now Come and want to have vibes cartel all to herself. And cartel, me here you say your plan for marry her, me all here you talk about June next year. I'm not saying you're not to marry her, you know. But no married to no one woman. Bring her back to Turkey. You certainly have the financial means for you have more than one wife. You bring her back to Turkey. Or if you want, you can bring her to a neighboring country like Syria, where it is commonplace, commonplace for men to have more than one wife. God, that is the natural order. That is how God made man to operate. Is when they come with them Christian doctrine, then come and come tell we about man if you have one wife, a man if you have one woman. No man, no man should have one wife. No man should have sex with one woman. And us so we make the operate. And as Africans, because if you even look in Africa, if you even look in Africa, vibes cartel, it is commonplace in Central Africa and certain parts of Africa. Commonplace in Nigeria. When you talk about Nigeria, it is commonplace, common, 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 for a man to have multiple wives. And them are forced this thing pan with both bigamy. It is legal for man have more than one wife. Why? Why? For what purpose? Cartel, you listen to me. You find one of them Panamanian girl eh? and you find a Jamaican girl and you did a St. Vincent where you find a St. Vincent girl too 
And you carry the whole of them a turkey. And you go over there and tell a judge that you want to marry all of them. And the judge will ask you for your bank book or your bank statement or whatever. And you show the judge. And the judge grant you the permission to marry all of them. Don't marry to no one woman. And I don't know this girl's motive. Oh, she just after you, so. Oh, she was obsessed with your son, then she just after you. So, yeah, my people, that is 119 speaking as it relates to Vibes Cartel. You know, I don't know anything if you know, agree with 119. Ladies, you know, say, you know, agree with 119 and where you might present. Man, them, you know, I deal with, you know, say, you know, agree with what 119 I say. I mean, you know, say, most of the general them we agree and you know, say, I mean, man, if you have enough girl and girl in a bum, but you don't know how the thing go. You have to have money for sustain them lifestyle. Eh? As well, don't go around as a little waste man. Breed up the people and pick me up this bag of pick me lego. I be menace to society. I fe make sure your kids them well taken care of like vibes cartel kids them if you have a pursue that type of lifestyle. But you don't know me, they are just as a normal youth. I mean, I really have much to say on the topic, but you know, me they have a ear for the perspective, you see. But anyways, make we move on. It relates to a veteran in the music industry, my people. We also have some sad news, you know. We are talk about um Lieutenant Stitchy according to our headlines from rural music views. Um we see where they are saying that family of Lieutenant Stitchy seeks hundred thousand US for alien gospel DJ long term care. Jaja no people, serious thing I go on here, so. so the reason for that still according to the readout, the reggae and gospel music legend Cleve Lothan and Stitchy Leng is currently facing a significant health challenge after suffering a severe brain hemorrhage that left him unresponsive according to a GoFundMe set up for funds for the Jamaican artist. In an heartfelt message proposing to be from the family and loved ones of Lieutenant Stitchy posted the go for me they say we are reaching out during this incredibly challenging time our beloved Cleve Lieutenant Stitchy Leng a husband a father a friend has recently suffered a severe brain hemorrhage that has left him responsive judge and no people is it so you know at the end idea who can help us Give a helping and said we. You don't know Lieutenant Stitchy was uh, one of them tough and dominant DJ the back in the day said we. You see? But you don't know one of the time him convert to Christianity and basically that do some gospel as well as you know uh, do him like a thing on a clean level. But you don't know it go when it comes on to artists transitioning to Christianity. You, know? you see it. Yeah man. It's like them things slow down most time. You see what I say? Yeah, man. So, at the end of the day, who a Christian, a Christian still, I respect that. But once you're a DJ and you go Christianity, boy, it's like 90% of the time it flap your thing and run you in a financial problems, my people. And some of the time, in the end, I don't see where like, the church show up a certain level. You see, but this is not for have no bad mouth against the church or I try to make no loose argument over a man's sickness. Me just I say as oh me see. But big up to Lieutenant Stitchy still a veteran in the thing. And as we say, we just do our part to share the thing said we. So who can help just give a helping and said we is it? Yeah man. Very sad news. But anyways, people moving on. So next up we see we are telecommunications giant Digicel I say yo them are move the 2G system off of them thing. You see what I say? Yeah, man. They must say by September 4th, you know, midnight, that will come into effect. And them removing the 2G system are going to affect like the button phone, them like banger phone and so forth. A man, we have a 30, um, 3310 like them type of phone there. Them phone they now go really can use on that network. You see, pre people. Yeah, man. And based on the wall, we talking on the street of them type of phone there. Chop of them favorite phone because them hard for track. So, you know, they are saying that you don't know that service won't be available anymore. But at the end of the day, I'm not really sure where Jamaica system reach at this moment if, you know, 5G or 4G. But we know say things on time are upgrade said we. So, you know, probably them are remove that for welcome something else. But that is that still, my people. Let's move on. I see we are popular singer or DJ 
Sita the lyrical, you know. I think she's from St. Vincent, but you don't know a dance all she do. And she's really good at it, you see. Yeah, man, we see where she come out and she has said, Jaja, no. You know, like somebody hack her email and take down her YouTube channel, my people. Take a listen at this. So, imagine you set a goal and you wake up every day and just decide you're going to work towards the goal because it will make your life better. And it's like the harder you work, and the more hate you see. But say from the time skin it out go viral, and the most challenges me ever see, me, me never see challenges until me start to see skin it out and go viral. But say me up on TikTok, and the people are reporting live, let them want the page get shut down. And they never stop until they hack my Gmail, and now they delete my YouTube. Them delete me YouTube, but guess what? You think that I go stop me? No, sir, that not stop me. That I go make me work harder. Your heart I go burn you even more. Cause guess what? Now you delete the YouTube, but you never know you can delete the vivo. And I saw you can't delete me out of this either. I want to see that record. I'm not stop until you reach it out. Yeah, my people, very sad. You see it. And at the other day, she would uh, get a uh, buzz with her uh, um tune. It was actually, I think it was a freestyle first. You know, and then she recorded it officially. A song named Skinny It Out. You know, it did go on well on TikTok and about the place and so forth. You see? It? So she has said from that I go on, you don't know the thing turn up again, sir. You see, it? that be a challenges and so forth. And you don't know how people work on that whole, you know. Man, with there yeah, and see her struggle day to day. And, you know, does no business with you. But as soon as the light of success starts shining upon you, be a free. As you know what I say? Yeah, man. So, I understand what she's saying fully. And you don't know the fact that she had to dance all and she's not a Jamaican. You know, say, the thing turn up. We know how the thing go. You see, we're not even have to say 40. But when it come on to she still, you know, the Jamaican are not she fully talented and lyrical. You see what I say? Yeah, man. So, wish her all the best still. She say, them couldn't delete the Vivo, so she's still active and in the game. Mom says she now left the game, you see it? So, that is that. And we're going to have a final topic, my people, with her have Miss Kitty. You see it? Miss Kitty, I inquire upon a thing. When I see her go on the internet as well, and I subscribe to the argument, you see it? Yeah, man, Miss Kitty asks the ones them, what is really going on? What is really going on as it relates to the young people and TikTok and this whole domestic violence thing? Regular phone are turn on and people are disrespect people and are going with a bag of things. And you know, people would have think that people turn on phone for raise awareness and you know fix them life and so forth. But she is saying that based on all the thing look, it look like half a monetization purpose. You see it. Yeah, man. And we have like several examples where we could have referred to the ones. Yeah. But I don't want to take up too much on the time. So I just go play what Miss Kitty is saying. So check this out. Because like, me, like I'm seeing this display of one ton domestic abuse being played out right online. One time gone, certain things were held, you know, back stage and deal with neatly run on one back run a back this up but i have realized that there is a trend now where more than one person on social media it's almost as if they're advertising or monetizing domestic violence so i am trying to understand what is happening before our very eyes so is it that you have an abusive man and when the abuse is taking place you turn on your phone and go live to capture the abuse are you doing it because you want help or are you doing it because you want content which will then equal money because i'm trying to understand if we are now sad enough desperate enough that we are monetizing domestic violence. When you're on the live and the abuse and the disrespect starts, why not mute the live or end the live? Why, why are we displaying this dysfunction on social media? Is it just for content? Or is it that you want somebody from the police station? Because I notice that so many of our women are being assaulted 
verbally assaulted and physically assaulted on social media and yet I am yet to hear about one of these perpetrators being locked up I'm yet to hear about police a, a statement being given to the police all I see is it happens so is it that domestic violence is not being advertised for views and likes and taps and roses and I don't know to appeal to the conscience of people so you can get a sorry for so people will sorry for you so that they will gift you what 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 what, what is this as far as I'm concerned it is sick and sickening it is sick and sickening and the hurtful part is and the dangerous part is children are most times involved in these situations i see children involved in these situations so i'd like to know from somebody or you guys can let me know what are your thoughts because i am flabbergasted that chaos and abuse is being normalized and the, 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 the abuse the, the abuse is not only physical it's also mental so that mana cheat upon you or infidelity is happening and you have to come and defend or talk and wh why, why are we doing this because of the money guys we're exposing our children to toxic relationships and toxic situations to for the money I, I have a theory now and I think there are like most well, let me not say most because I don't have any empirical data this is merely anecdotal that like a lot of our Jamaican women have Stockholm Syndrome yeah man Stockholm Syndrome may I tell you it has to be it has to be because how do you friend up back talk to sleep with be with the man who abuse you you all are defend him too you all are defend him you all are defend him you all are defend him and some way somehow i think they think it's a flex on somebody but if this is where we are in humanity it is a sad day do you guys understand how many women and men have lost their lives to the, because of domestic violence we have a domestic violence act in jamaica enacted in 1996 to the level and the seriousness of domestic violence like it's not a, it's not a joke you know it's not a it's not a dolly house you know one box can kill you plan a lot of time make share some arguments where miss kitty are present and a very good and clear-cut argument them and i still will see people i say yo miss kitty this and miss kitty that and me feel for understand you see what i say yeah man because at the end of the day me you know you know the targeting the messenger thing you see what i say i message me i deal with and from the message correct the message not have a pretty up or whatever me the only one who say are the right thing and miss kitty argument are the right argument where she have put cross you see it and as me say in terms of the even this way she has speak man me see a lot of it I go on around social media it's like them people that do them thing you have for your hype you see it yeah man man come on disrespect him baby mother brawling you know clone her out and them thing there and people hype and real for them thing there woman the same you see what me i say so the idea as me say you know go off you know what really i go on you see it but Miss Kitty not done talk it. Make sure you go on reason said we. So check this out. Kick can kill you. One thump off a bike and drop off a bike can kill you. And no amount of taps and roses can give you back your dignity. Can give you back your integrity. Can give you back your womanhood. Can give you back your self-esteem. Are we monetizing domestic violence why does it seem like domestic violence is okay and it's okay to the point where we are advertising it willingly and knowingly on social media 
just so that people can say lord jesus let me send her some money and also let me also hold the supporters responsible when you reward bad behavior you get more bad behavior when you reward bad behavior you get more bad behavior when the people them class and cuss you know, and say the things them and behave badly and display the dysfunction and the toxicity and you reward it it only breeds more dysfunction so it so it's it's almost like a sick um love hate trauma bonding what's the trauma bonding now so you have the people them they might get licked on social media and them come and them talk and them show but it's almost like the, 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 some of the gifters and supporters because they too are in abusive relationships and in an abusive situation they like to see it so they're bonding with these people by gifting them some people don't need gifts they need a, they need therapy some people don't need money they need psychological intervention some people don't need money they need a psychiatric evaluation because only if you're mentally ill or something is wrong with you you do these things it is not normal and i see so many people and laughing at it and laughing with it ladies lift up your head before you lift up your legs lift up your head before you lift up your legs domestic violence is not okay violence and abuse is not okay and the people who watch it and cheer it on you are only exacerbating the problem and making it worse because guess what if when I open my life and fly my life and Mrs. me get how much in thousand because when the boy lick me, me it, 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 what the tops them go up or the rows them go up or whatever it is oh guess what i'm gonna do you're lucky me and him will all plan me and him will go plan me i said look, look here me i go up on live now you see and by the time you hear me I talk and talk and talk more you just come chuck off my face more you just come more you just come dig off my face because sometimes i honestly guys have to wonder if it's an act like like me i said to myself said no man this can't real this can't real this couldn't be real like it, it has to be coordinated it has to be a skit it has to be staged because nobody in a them right mind could not just do this so could not just do this so as a like a real something but to get to the stage of trying to monetize domestic abuse and abuse overall it is sad and sickening remember there are not only adults on this app there are also young vulnerable children and whether you like it or not they are very impressionable and they watch i've seen some of the abuse taking place and the children are in the midst of it all fine if tiktok is your job but even when you go to your workplace you have to have some level of decorum to beat a woman to beat a man is illegal you can be charged for it under section 4 of the domestic violence act you can take out a protection order protection order means that the perpetrator cannot come near you you can also take out under section 7 an occupation order which means we can be in the same house and you all you can't me owner you can't come near me or you have to leave the premise that is that you know me people that is miss kitty argument and as me say a lot of people claim say them no really rate Miss Kitty argument. But at the end of the day, as I say, me understand social media, YouTube and these platforms. But they are long enough and see how the people them operate. And she say, you have a number of subscribers where just now want to hear nothing good. And you have some people where want to hear good, but a special people them want to hear it from. You see what I say? 
Yeah, man, once them not rate you, no matter what you say, them no appreciate it, said we. What then ideas, me say, from the message, go to IQ0, uh, oh, I say it, that's the difference with me and them. You see it on some of the time, the thing you have to, you have to talk, the thing strict and firm, it can pretty you up and, you know, right? Because when other people with them rate, uh, relate to what they might relate, they might deal with it brawling and them I run back at them said we and whatever. So my time I was styling and disrespect them I get and them I run back at them. But you with them not rate, no matter how you deal with them smooth and no matter how the point clip um plain them try to twist it up and fix it how them want it. But big up on yourself and on my people you don't know all the thing going on. It's a quick one, you know. You see it, yeah man, once you don't see me on all the background now, you know it's a quick thing. But big up on yourself and bless up on yourself. Catch you in another one. I'm out.